Hello YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at a bunch of Tamiya 140A scale figures and vehicles. We have the Tamiya 140A scale World War II infantry set. We got an infantry set on maneuvers. We got the German motorcycle and sidecar. We got the German three-ton cargo truck and a Tiger One tank. So first things first, we'll take a look at the boxes. Take a look at this one. This comes with 10 figures, such as a non-commissioned officer, rifleman, and soldiers in realistic poses. Uh, accessories include a car, 98K rifle, MG34, 42 machine guns, MP40 submachine guns. So, we'll take a look at this one. The box. There's some of the weapons. And we'll take a look inside of this one first. Okay, have no fear. This comes with an instruction manual. As you can see, the different soldiers in their poses. Gives you a little bit of literature. Okay, we're going to take a look at the accessories first. All of your weapons, canteens, and trenching tools, gas mask cases, bipods. Okay, and you're going to get two of these in this kit. Two of the same tree. There's your helmets. And like I said, you are going to get a second one. And here are the figures. As you can see, they're nicely detailed. These are 140A scale. You see the heads, they're different. Very nice. So you're gonna get 10 figures in this pack. And then there is this one as well. And then you've got some bases to go with it. Okay, next up, we'll take a look at the German motorcycle and sidecar. Shows you what you're gonna get. I like how they show the, that's the paint schemes. That's who, what I went with. And then you've got this paint scheme. Very nice. Okay, so here are the decals for the motorcycle and sidecar. And of course, we have the instruction manual with some literature. Got the paint jobs and how to assemble everything clear down to the Here figures is the sprue with everything on i try to keep these quick this video is a little longer because i have a lot more kits to go through but there's your sidecar parts of the motorcycle there's your guys as you can see, they've got cold winter uniforms on. And that's the rest of the motorcycle. Go ahead and flip it. So this one, so this is everything I'm showing you. I'm going to put on a diorama. I uh, probably won't be using these two guys though because they've got winter gear on and everybody else doesn't. So. I'll use the motorcycle, but not the guys. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is the infantry on maneuvers. And this kit comes 
with seven machine gun crew on maneuver, two standing infantry, three tank crew, two officers, and one military policeman. So that is a picture of everything that's coming with that. Okay, there's the sod. Another picture of the guys. And there's some of the equipment that comes with this, this box of 15. Okay, so you're gonna get your instruction manual. See all the different guys and how to build them. Very detailed, very nice. See what you're getting into. Okay, here is your accessory sprue. This is not the same sprue from the last set of guys that I showed you. The difference is, is right here, all these helmets and those packs, those are weapons on that other sprue, both of those. But you're going to get two of these in that box. And then, of course, you could intermix or, you know, whatever you want to do. But you're, you get two different sets of helmets. And then you get all this equipment. You can really see the detail. Everything looks great. Just on a smaller scale, that's all. But you'll get two of these. You also get this with all the bases on it. And some other accessories, rifles, hats. Let me flip that over so you see the hats. Set up for a machine gun. And then of course you're gonna get the figures which look outstanding. Very, very nice. You can see the detail in those. That's the one, that's the smaller sprue. And then this is the larger sprue. There's your MP. There's your other figures. I should stand them like that. Very nice, very detailed. And that's what you're going to get with that pack. Okay, we'll do the German 3-ton 4x2 cargo truck next. That is your box. As you can see, the paint scheme you can use. That's one. There is the side of the box. Everything that's going to come with it. And then that side. And of course, it comes with the instruction manual. This also comes with a figure. You see everything that comes with very simple instructions. There are the windows. And like I always say, I never take them out of the bag. I don't want them to get all scratched up in there. Here are the sprue with the tires and wheels, springs. Lots of detail there. And you get two of those. Another one. The next sprue is most of the truck itself, the cab and the stake bed. Take a look at the doors. Got a little bit of work, a little bit of excess plastic there. Fenders. This one you have the frame, the exhaust. Rear axle, front, steering wheel, some of the gear shifts, the tools, and the guy. Let's see, that's his head there. So that is all on that sprue. And then there is the accessories, everything that comes with it. Very, very nice. Well detailed, looks great. Last but not least, the Tiger One, German Tiger late production. 
And that is the front. You know, you should really take some time, some time in a model shop or on the internet just to admire this box art because it's really, really nice stuff. Take some time to appreciate the artists that put time into the box art. Especially when a lot of things are just getting away from the art. It's a shame. All right, let's take a look inside this one. Okay, so first we'll take a look at the decal sheet. I like the night. That's pretty cool. This kit also, let me put these in here, comes with weights for the tank. You got four weights in there. They're like glued in. Um, of course, it comes with your instruction manual. And this one would be the one that we want. And as you can see, like any other Tamiya kit, very detailed instructions and easy to figure out. There is the bottom section of the tank. There is some of the tank, the turret, the top. It's fairly, it's fairly big for a 140A scale. It's a big tank. Some of the other pieces on the sides. Let me flip that a little bit better. There we go. Some more detail parts. I mainly build 135th scale, so this will be a little bit different. I mean, I've done 148th scale planes, but uh, this is nice so that you have room for things. 135th scale takes up a lot of space. 148th scale isn't going to take up as much space. Here are these pieces, usually for the wheels so that the treads will go. Of course, I don't know. This one's a little bit different. This one doesn't have the rubberized treads, so I don't I have to look in there to see what these actually go to. But yeah, as I was saying, this I usually do 135th scale because I like to do the detail and uh, add different things where this is a little bit more difficult because it's smaller, but really not that bad. 172nd scale, hats off to you guys. You're doing a great job. I can't compete. <laughs> you guys are too good. There's your wheels and your track. And as you can see, it looks really good. And it's not rubber. It's all plastic. A lot of the ones I'm used to is, you know, the rubber treads. And you get two of those. And that's the other one. See, I switched everything around and just to see if you noticed. Well, I thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Looking at some of these models. This is going to be a large diorama project. Well, not that large, but somewhat large. And, uh... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank a veteran. Thank them for their service. And God bless.